afternoon. We are happy you are here. I'm Andy Andrews. You've joined us on the Blue Plate Spectacular. Not just a special today, but a spectacular. And as always, the Blue Plate is gluten-free. Uh, we would ask you to click the notification buttons on your Facebook, if you're on Facebook, on the Meta, um, and, and then click your notifications on your phone, so that way you'll be notified when we go live. Please share your page as well, and always a double dose of thank you for the people who are joining us on wisdomharbor.com. Um, hello to LinkedIn and Twitter and Instagram and YouTube. And do you like the shirt? Heather Olson, you like the shirt? This is uh, from Sand Dollar Lifestyles, the cornerstone of the wharf right down here. The, the Sand Dollar Lifestyles this way, the Marlin statues are this way, and the escalator statues are all around us. There are four of them. So make sure you get your picture on all four when you visit. Um, you know, it's still raining. It's still raining. I, I, I swear... I swear, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out how much rain we've had in July and August, and then I'm going to, like, compare it to the Amazon or something. Yeah, it's it is crazy. Really, since, I think that was t two weeks ago, maybe longer, that you said, you know, it's been raining for 10 years, and it literally hasn't been one day <laughs> I mean, gone by. And it, we're not talking about showers, either. It's raining all day. Yeah, we had, one of, someone from our office couldn't even come in there, they're, they're House was flooded. Yeah. I, uh, Tom, Tommy's house was flooded yesterday, and when he came in today, I said, hey, Aquaman. <laughs> it's funny to me. Anyway, uh, but it was his garage that was flooded, and his, That's, yeah. and his it wasn't his house, but his garage and his his driveway. I, I mm -hmm. mean, the cars, it was like this high up on the tires. Yeah. And then... When you backed it off into the driveway, it looked like you're gonna back it off in a hole. I can see why he didn't yeah. didn't come in yesterday, um, but we're glad Aquaman survived. Um, hey, we have a, have a great show today, and the show is uh, I mean, you, if you think you can see me, you can. Okay, if you think you can, but we have. 17 optical illusions, and we're just assuming I am not the 18th, okay? But we collect these, and we show them to you occasionally because these are, these are just so interesting because we like the ones... Matt, do you like the ones, the accidental ones, or the on-purpose ones better? Um, I guess the accidental. I think the accidental are... They're usually funnier. Yes. The accidentals are usually funnier. But the on-purpose ones, I really appreciate. Yeah, those are more like art. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just, it's like art. Like, whoever, like this first one we're about to show, whoever saw the sky and said, I know what I'll do, put, put it up, show it. Like a cloud rake. I, just, I mean, I think that's just awesome. That took, that just took some imagination. The cloud rake. All right, and here's here's another example of somebody getting their camera in the right place. The basketball sun. I think that I think that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Even though if it was real, it would have burned the net. I think. <laughs> yes. So just. Just know that that is an optical illusion. You're not seeing something that is real. Just like this one. <laughs> I love that. And see, I, I just, I have to believe that somebody saw that and then lined it up to take the picture. I just don't believe somebody said, hey, get something, and I'm going to put it under this car and make it look like the car's sitting on it. I think they saw it. <laughs> Giant skateboard or Hot Wheel car? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have Hot Wheels growing up? I did. Had yeah. some Had some first editions. 
Really? Yeah, I don't really know what that means or if that's real special. <laughs> well, let me just put it this way. I saw uh, the other day where first edition Hot Wheels cars sold, and they sold for $100,000 a piece. I knew I should have uh, kept I them. You, I guess you threw them away too early. My wife made me get rid of all my Hot Wheels. Yeah, my daddy got got rid of mine. He had stepped on one too many in the night. <laughs> you know, it's like, rah! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, number four. Here is Snow Blow. See, that, that just, that inspires me. That makes me think, I wish it snowed around here so I could take some people and make them fall over. And, but I guess we could do, do that with sand. Good. I, I think that's very cool. Here's another one that was created. Uh, we call it Rose Hips. That's sure pretty. I like the blur too on the, the background. Yeah. I, in fact, but I don't really think that's a blur. I think she really is kind of a fuzzy woman. <laughs> I think she really is fuzzy. Have you ever had Rose Hips tea, Matt? You know, I don't think I have. Rose hips tea is really good, and it's very high in vitamin C. Oh. And is it's it... not at all fuzzy. But it tastes floral? It tastes pretty floral. It, it It's good. I've had hibiscus. That's a flower. Hmm. <laughs> have you ever had, uh, I mean, I, I know you've had hibiscus, but have, have you ever had low biscuits? It's much sweeter. Mm-mm, never have. Yeah, the low biscuits is much sweeter than the high biscuits. <laughs> It took you a minute on that, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's look at Cliffhanger. Look at that. That looks dangerous. It looks scary until you look at Cliffhanger number two. He's just laying on a sidewalk. Which it makes it all, all that more brilliant mm -hmm. to me. Must be a special effects man. I mean, that, just, that looks great. That looks great. Okay. Uh, I will have a spoonful of moon, please. That's just, that's, that's just brilliant. It's a good thing he used a spoon, too, because if he used a fork, the moon would have just, like, gone right through the tines. Because yeah. everybody knows the moon is very, very gloppy. <laughs> gloppy. <laughs> you know? Do you know, uh, a friend of mine's mother, she, I, she tried to cook. God knows she tried to cook, but she could not cook. Mm -hmm. she's dead now so I can talk about this but she she was a horrible cook and um, and one time she made uh, pickles and sent me a jar of pickles and I, you know I didn't I, I knew better than to taste those pickles and so they kind of stayed there for a while and then one day she called me and asked if I tried the pickles and and I said, you know what? I've been saving them for a, a special thing. She said, well, please just go ahead and try them. So I said, okay, I will. I will. I'll do that this afternoon. And I opened up the jar, and they, you know, they smelled okay, mm -hmm. and they looked okay. And I took a, I took a fork, and I put it under one and lift it up. And that pickle dissolved through the tines. I mean, it was like a colloidal suspension. It just like, <laughs> do the tines. Maybe there was a little more than vinegar in the mix. Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> it's like sulfuric acid. I mean, and I wasn't about to, you know, so yeah, I Yeah, do that to your organs. <laughs> right. I just lied and said they were great. They were incredible. In fact, what I said was, they were amazing. And they were amazing. <laughs> They were go. amazing. <laughs> All right. Here are the Beatles. I think that's very cool. 
Yeah, that is that is neat. In fact, that should be an album cover. <laughs> yeah, that's very cool. All right, how about Kettle Clouds? See, some of these, th that that is placed so perfectly because that's just placed perfectly. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Well, you think about that. That's either an optical illusion or that's a big kettle. <laughs> hmm. Now, next, we have... That's a hot drink. Hmm. Look good on a menu. Happy hour at the. That's uh, happy hour at the Star Wars bar. Hmm. The cantina. The cantina. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Moon clock. Moon clock. That's cool too. It is. I wonder if they cut those pieces out or they just happen to have some arrows with them. I mean, I don't know what they'd go to. It's not it's not uh it's not beautiful, but it's it's imaginative. Mm -hmm. I like to think that they went out into the field with two clock hands. <laughs> That's what I like. I might need these. <laughs> and and I like to think they argued about what time to make it, you know, like, <laughs> hey, I'm just going to do eight o'clock. Well, it's not eight o'clock. You can bet if that guy was there with his wife, there was an argument about the time. Yeah, 100 percent. You know, because he, he's he's there going, well, it's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. She she goes, well, no, it's not really. Eight he said, look, I'm doing eight o'clock because I can hold the the and she said, but it's it's uh, seven thirty five. And he, he's saying, you know, 735 would not look right because you hold it and the two hands are right there together. I'm just going to make it 8 o'clock. She goes, well, if that's what you think's best. And he knew his night was ruined. <laughs> he knew. When she said that, he knew his night was over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I love this. This one I had to look at very carefully. So let's show this first. And then... Do you see? There's no bench below them. The bench has a back, but it doesn't have a seat. Yeah, I had I didn't see I did not see that. There's some strong legs I got. And it's not comfortable, I'm sure. No, it's not. It's not comfortable. They're expending a lot of energy to make it look comfortable. Now this next one's kind of is just kind of gross, actually, um, and I don't know what to call it other than cigarette head. That's <laughs> just. I mean, I, I'm thinking his kid did that. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking his kid's sitting behind him at a ball game, and he said, "Daddy, give me one of your cigarettes," and he said. I'm not giving you one. He said, just give me one of your cigarettes, Dad. And he said, what do you want a cigarette for? He said, just trust me. And that's what kids say and parents have to think, okay, am I, am I going to like show that I trust him and hand him a cigarette? And then that's what the dad got. He, got, he trusted his kid and he got made fun of. <laughs> that's, that's like a dad's life, though. But he's a good dad. Now, this one, let's show this one, Matthew. Um, I think that, I think that, I, I, I think that adults look at that and they know what's happening. And I think maybe little girls look at it. And they're maybe figuring out what's happening. 
But I think like junior high school boys look at that and they're going, he's projectile vomiting. Yeah, and how can I do the same? Yeah, how can I do this too? <laughs> how can I do this? What are those in the background of that? Are those like palm trees or osprey nests? Looks like osprey nests that we yeah, have they're... around here. Hmm. But I know that I'm going to remember that. I'm going to remember that picture next time I'm at Yellowstone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we have Gulliver's Bicycle. I like that one a lot. That was very creative. I like that one a lot too. I hate to think that somebody actually spent the time to take their wheel off so that it would do, but but it's perfect, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You know, here, right up here, we have the Southeast's largest Ferris wheel. That's yeah, printed everywhere, by the way. Mm -hmm. The southeast largest Ferris wheel. I don't really know if it's the largest Ferris wheel in the southeastern United States, in southeastern Alabama, <laughs> yeah, southeastern Baldwin County, southeastern Orange Beach. Either way, come and ride it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come ride the Ferris. Have you been on? Have you been on it? I have. Yeah, I have. Um, Adam and I went on it. Right when, uh, right when that thing was put up, hmm. I mean, Adam was a little bitty guy, and he wanted to go on it, and you know who didn't go on it? Austin. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Austin's not going on that. No, too high. No, I mean, he was like, like seven years old, and Austin, you know, Austin was always very cautious. You know, I remember taking him to the airport. The very first time, and I get on the escalator, I'm going down, and I look back, and he's up at the top. And I, I said, hey, come on. He goes. And I get down to the bottom, and I say, Austin, step on and come down. And Austin goes. Not going to do it. Okay, come, come up the stairs. You know, Adam and I... Uh, over at the track, we had, um, we got in bumper boats, Austin, standing on the side, <laughs> not going to do it. Over here, you know, riding the Ferris wheel, Austin, not going to do it. Nope, not going to do it. That's funny. And, yeah, he, when... and he is, he's obviously a lot more daring now at 22, sure. but I asked him not too long ago. I said, have you ridden the Ferris wheel? He said, no. <laughs> and I said, why don't you? He said, why would I? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like I've had a helicopter ride around Orange Beach. What am I going to do? <laughs> I yeah. haven't seen in the... Yeah, I mean, he's ridden around a helicopter in Orange Beach with his legs hanging out the side, <laughs> but he's not going to get on the Ferris wheel. Yeah, when, when we... Uh... First moved down here, we had some friends come and visit, and they brought their son who was, I don't know, he had to be not older than four years old or something like that. And uh, so we brought him down and went, came to the wharf here and, you know, let's get tickets for the thing. And it was so funny because, you know, he's this little kid, so excited, can't wait to get on. It's just like wide-eyed and everything. And there, his dad, who's like 30, was terrified <laughs> on the ride, <laughs> trying to put on a brave face. Oh, yeah. Well... Are you scared of heights? Not too bad. I'm I'm pretty cautious as well. I feel like I was kind of like Austin um, a little bit growing up, but um, but I'm not. You know, I I, I I can make myself do it. I'm not scared of heights, but I'm I'm cautious. Yeah. Now I'm scared of widths, <laughs> but not heights. Let's look at Crane Moon. That's a beautiful sight. And how big a crane <coughs> do you think it takes to hoist a moon above the mountains like that? 
A very big one. I'm thinking a very big one. That's a Brian Backen crank. <laughs> I was thinking that exact same thing. <laughs> Were you really? Yeah. I was. <laughs> well, he's our only friend we know that deals with cranes. That's true. So, <laughs> all right. And here is the last one that I just, I think is brilliant. And we're calling it black hole carpet. That is a carpet. And I've seen a video of that carpet, and that dog will not walk across that carpet. He'll walk around that carpet, but mm -hmm. he will not walk across it. I mean, that, that just looks great. Yeah, it's it's a cool piece for sure. I don't, I'm not sure if it's stylish, but it is very cool. Oh, yeah, it's not stylish. I mean, would your wife let you have that in your anything? No, that couldn't... If, no. Yeah. No I mean, yeah, I know. I can't I can't even have a a recliner. <laughs> what kind of recliner? I just want a recliner. Mm -hmm. You know, a recliner it's like sit back like some dad and watch TV. But no, they're they're old looking and they look awful like, you know. I just want a recliner. Well, God so, forbid you be comfy. I know it. Isn't that the truth? Will you talk to Polly for me? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'd appreciate it. I'll talk to to Ryan and make sure I'll she lets you have that illusion in your bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you for being here with us today. Uh, <clears throat> don't forget the Life Skills Projects are still ongoing. Some of them still signing up. And uh, don't forget us on the VA, the books for the VA, the books for veterans. Um, you, can, you can buy a shirt and... We will add a book to that for you in your name. Uh, you can add $10 to your order and, and buy a book, or you can just go on andyandrews.com and, and put in some $10s and, and uh, help us reach 10,000 hardback books for veterans. How about that? We're close. We're getting there. We'll see you Thursday. Bye-bye.